bless up my viewers and my subscribers welcome back to another upload so right now my viewers pleasant good morning continue to like share and subscribe leave your thoughts in your comment down below in the comment section so right now there have been some increase in measures and restrictions in the westmoreland communities and furthermore the westmoreland parish where the zone of special operation have been placed to curb the situation that is taking place so the nightly curfew hours for westmoreland Zozo communities. The police have announced a nightly curfew for the Westmoreland communities of Russia as well as Darling and Dexter Street, which were on Sunday declared zone of special operation. The Zozo. The curfews will run from 6 p.m. each evening to 5 a.m. the following day. The police say the movements will be restricted to essential workers and other individuals with emergency situation and legitimate reasons to be on the street. Mm -hmm. Each situation will be assessed and where necessary, the approval will be granted by the ground commander, said a spokesperson for the police corporate communication unit in a statement on Tuesday. The police say in order to minimize delay and checkpoints, persons are encouraged to present an official identification, such as a passport, driver's license, or national ID. Essential worker should carry their worker's identification card. So, Westmoreland has step up the game where the curfew measures is getting tighter. Better off because I know the 87 them travel mostly night. So restricting the hours will show some sense of stability. So right now we are going over to Portland. So Portland Health Department raised alarm over uncollected garbage. And it's not in Portland only. We are facing the same situation also in St. Catherine. The medical officer of the health for Portland, Dr. Sharon Lewis, is raising alarm about the chronic garbage problem in the parish, saying it could result in an increase in the rodent population. According to Lewis, uncollected garbage piling over from receptacle bins also threatens Portland Victor control program. I am urging the relevant stakeholder to col collaborate and devise means to urgently address the problem while we await the procurement for additional garbage truck in the medium to long term, she pleaded. The problem worsened around mid-November when more trucks belonging to the National Solid Waste Management Authority become importable. The NWA MA has been contacting privately owner trucks to fill the void. But according to the Port Antonio Mayor Paul Thompson, the private operators are overwhelmed by the volume of uncollected garbage. The problem is essential server in the parish capital, Port Antonio and its environment, including Bracework, Bryan's Bay, Stony Hill, Norwich and Fairy Hill. Some of you as you drop a comment in the comment section if you don't have the garbage problem to in a phone community. Yeah man, from December man, no garbage shot no forward for come call it no garbage and we are almost at the end of January. Right now we can hard to find place to throw garbage because the bin is full. So what we are going to do? We can burn some of them but we can, cannot continue to be burning garbage because that don't good for the environment. So we know if we need to know what I'm going with the garbage chop them. Quick and fast, man. We no need to tell what I'm going for the garbage chop them. But anyway, man accused of stealing two million worth of corned beef, arrested and charged. The four men accused of stealing three pallets of corned beef worth two million have now each been charged with simple arsenic. 
and conspired to commit simple larceny. The products were stolen from a warehouse on Salpan Road in Spanish Town, St. Catherine, on Wednesday, January the 5th. Accused Richard Jarry, 26, receivable, receivable clerk. Tajay Russell, 21, prevention officer. Tordell Henry, 30, prevention officer of Winchester, Portmore, St. Catherine. Jermaine Johnson, 32, security officer of Angel Grove, Spanish Town, St. Catherine. They are all to appear before the court on Wednesday, February 23. Greenwich Town residents protest cops' removal from zones of operation. Residents of Greenwich Town in St. Andrew on Tuesday afternoon block a section of the Marcus Garvey Drive to protest the policeman being removed from the zone of special operation in the area. According to the residents, police Policeman, who they referred to as Christian, has been in the community since the first Zozo was declared in the area. A resident told the news that the policeman is questioned, is a peacemaker, and he makes the residents feel love. We need Christian, the residents shout. More information will be coming later. Security guard, truck driver, charge in red stripe robbery two men have been arrested and charged in connection with the robbery at red stripe bureau on spanish stone road in st Andrew on sunday december the 26th they are christopher ross a 32 year old truck driver of south street greenwich town in kingston 13 and 23 year old Unser sykes a security guard of tulip Parkway, West Albion, in St. Thomas. So far, this is where they come from. We are St. Thomas and a thief red stripe. The two have been charged with robbery, with aggra aggravation, illegal possession of a firearm, warehouse breaking, and conspiracy to commit robbery. Reports from the police are that between the hours of 1 and 2 a.m., the men allegedly entered the red stripe premises tied up a security guard who was on duty, gained access to the warehouse and stole over 1,440 cases of red stripe and dragon stout before leaving the premises. Since the theft of the liquor from the red stripe brewery, which is reported worth over 8 million, the police have record, recovered 700 crates from two different locations in Kingston. Both Rust and Sykes were charged on January the 15th. Their court date have not yet been finalized by the police. They are still working out the situation. Some of you as somebody telling us it was an inside job all along. Nobody couldn't tell us it's not an inside job, my viewers. From the news drop on the tar, we know say this was clearly an inside job because them know every movements of the company. Them know who have them go in without even trigger off an alarm. Them know how to move the far cliff. Them know how to pack the thing neat in the van. That little rugged man from out the road where just no or just a go broke in or somewhere and know how to do something so neat and get out without even raising an alarm. So this has to be an inside work straight forward. But you know, don't know in a multi-million dollar company, you know, so the police them did have to step up them operation and catch them the people. Eh. And you don't know say as they so as them look at them move out of red stripes so by a man in then get them back. Okay, everything in sure. So some man just drink some free liquor and just call it a day because red stripe get back all of them there. And even more too. Because once them report it and police come do them assessment straight forward. Them get them back. Some of you as just leave on the comments down in the comment section. I make all a reason for now and I come on over when I have to say I want to think about it. Bless up.